Our children and grandchildren are glad tidings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, فَبَشَّرْنَاهُ بِغُلَامٍ حَلِيمٍ And we gave the glad tidings, فَبَشَّرْنَا to Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam of a patient son referring to Ismail. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says about Prophet Ibrahim's wife Sara, فَبَشَّرْنَاهَا بِإِسْحَاقٍ وَمِنْ وَرَاءِ إِسْحَاقٍ Ya'qub. And we give glad tidings as well to Sarah of Ishaq. And after Ishaq, we also gave her the glad tidings of Ya'qub, her grandchild. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in the Quran, وَإِذَا بُشِّرَ أَحَدُهُمْ بِالْأُنْثَى Referring to the disbelievers, that when one of them is given the glad tidings of a female, even though they didn't view females as glad tidings for them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to the daughters as glad tidings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, our children, sons and daughters, and our grandchildren are a form of glad tidings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us in this world to give us happiness. Therefore, we must ensure that we are grateful for this blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we must ensure that we bring up our children as devout believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a way of us showing gratefulness and being grateful for this blessing of children in this world.